Okay, good afternoon everyone. Um, in this ICT basics video we are going to cover equal and relatively equal highs. Um, this is the other side of the liquidity equation. So in my other ICT basics video you can go find out about equal and relatively equal lows. Um, guys, for many of you this is going to be super basic, right? But there's a reason why I call it the ICT basics series is I'm trying to cover a lot of the concepts that I've studied from Michael Huddleston and I'm trying to uh, you know, get it, get it out there, guys. So the market is live right now. I'm currently sitting in my Express Funded account with uh, a one contract short um, and in my live TradeStation account. Um, I'm waiting to see what the market, if it wants to come back up to this breaker. Anyways, um, guys, equal and relative equal highs is a liquidity signature above which there lies buy stops. And as you can see, when you have a lot of a cluster of highs, the market is going to go and attack those highs. So on your trading view, there's a couple different tools that you can use to highlight where equal and relatively equal highs are. So number one, I use a uh, horizontal ray, might put it right there, and I've got a few different drawing tools, but I'll go buy side liquidity. That's one. I usually use the, the big thick line for like a longer time frame liquidity. Um, you can also use a brush tool, circle where there's a bunch of highs and you know the market is likely to kind of come back and attack those highs. Um, or you can use the highlighter tool and like that. Okay, so that's just cueing your brain. Oh, there's a bunch of highs here. The market is likely to go into that area, push through it um, if you see that the market is going back up. Now, guys, a high or an important high, buy side liquidity, in, in other words, does not have to lie just above cluster of a, a cluster of highs like this. Although that's a great that's a great target. I mean, you can see that the market just really attacked that, right? It could also be a, a steep high um, such as this. Okay, so it could also just be a single high. All right, and that's where your buy side liquidity would be located. So what does it mean to be buy side liquidity? Basically buy stops. So for example, if you're going short anywhere in here, where's your stop? It, it's going to be at that high or up to like say 20 points above that high, right? There's going to be a large amount of stop orders that the market is going to use. It's or We've talked about offset distribution, so I have a video on opposing liquidity and offset distribution. So I, I encourage you to go watch that video um, it, and it will teach you about the concept of handshake deals, about the market seeking liquidity, about attacking stops. Um, but guys, in this video, we're just covering, okay, if I'm watching the market after it's gone down and I'm looking, all right, where do I think the market wants to go? Other than inefficiency, guys, you want to look for these clusters of equal and relatively equal highs because you know that the, that there are stop orders above those equal and relative equal highs, guys. It's a liquidity signature, and the market will come back at some point and run those highs or sweep those highs. Okay, so use whatever tool that you need to use. Um, guys, also a basic trend line tool that I will use right here, and you can see I've got all my macros, order block, Wick consequent encroachment, I also have buy side liquidity like that. Okay, so if I don't want to use the big thick red line, I'll use uh, a blue line like this and just say buy side liquidity. Okay, so whatever you need to cue your brain, it could be the brush tool, could be the trend line tool, could be the horizontal ray, could be the highlighter tool. Whatever you need to activate your pattern recognition and go, the market is probably going to go target those highs, you should be using that tool. Okay, guys, the market attacks liquidity. It, it seeks liquidity. It seeks to match orders with orders, positions with positions, and to offset distribute and to make a book, a balanced book. It will do that over time. Give it enough time, it will, it will balance itself out. So when you, whenever you see that the market is going up, it's either going to an inefficiency, okay, like a fair value gap, new week opening gap, new day opening gap, or if you can't find a readily identifiable inefficiency, well, you know it's going to an old high. It's going to liquidity. Okay, guys? So in this video, we covered equal and relatively equal highs. I showed you, um, I talked to you about offset distribution, about handshake deals, about market making. And I also talked to you about offset, uh, offset distribution. I also talked to you about using TradingView's view, trading different drawing tools to point out to yourself, oh, 
there's a cluster of highs here. The market is likely to going to come back and run those highs. Um, so anyways, guys, in this ICT basics video, we covered equal and relatively equal highs.